What's happening, everybody? Welcome to all my fellow gangsters and geeks. This is Amp Capo here, man. Um, I'm just introing the first episode of a little thing I'm doing called Working with Amp. Um, basically, y'all, I'm just gonna be doing what I do. I'm just gonna be working and kind of talking while I'm working, man. Letting y'all tune into it. I was telling people I was gonna be doing this, so uh, this is the first one. So let's get ready to go ahead and get into it man working with amp man episode one man thanks to all other people who have uh, subscribed and press the like button getting the notifications and returning back man i appreciate all of y'all man so here it is man working with amp this is the first one um some will be more informative than others y'all so you know it just is what it is i'm just gonna be working and recording so i'm gonna try to keep them not too long um and uh, so here it is man let's do it what's happening everybody amp capo here black adonis games welcome all my fellow gangsters and geeks um today man it's gonna be kind of short sweet i'm just gonna be doing a little bit of work man i'm adding a, a backpack i actually call it a wing pack and with this pack later on the character will gain the ability to fly um plot spoiler plot spoiler um not really a plot spoiler um everyone's seen that my character flies already so i'm just going to implement it as an achievement so i just was going to record this so you guys could follow along um and see how i do this so i got the pack already on the character um let me uh, get the camera here and I'm just gonna shrink it down so you can't see this stuff for right now. All right. And if you go here, we have wings, we have a jet, we have a pack. Um, Storyline will uh, definitely show how all this stuff is, you know, what it's about or whatnot. But anyway, um, so we have the uh, pack here and what we are going to do is I want the pack to be first the first achievement I want is to be the pack and then after the pack we will be have get the ability later on to do the wings so basically that's all I wanted to show y'all here and just give you a representation of what I was trying to be doing so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to get back on the camera here so we can put that back to this right size and get out of here and so what I'm going to do is go to the a parent character here which I already have pulled up here and I already have achievements in place as you know like here's the flight achievement here's the drone achievement um, so literally all I'm gonna really do is I'm gonna copy all of this all right and we are just gonna control W that we could do it like that and then just move that up here above this Okay, and what we're gonna do now is we need to create the custom event. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we got add custom event right here. All right, and we're gonna call this uh, back pack H achievement. So C H I E V E M E N T. All right. So backpack achievement. All right. With the space. Um, and so now that we have this backpack achievement, I'm gonna just go ahead and put this back in here. And we are just going to go ahead and I'm gonna comment it real fast because that's just me, so I can remember. That's what I'm working with. So we're just gonna comment this and call it back pack all right two finger typer all right so anyway there we go we got that together so this is the one that we're going to be working on here um let's go ahead and next what i'm going to do is um I have to set up the uh, 
achievement widget to fi the wid achievement widget. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, and all these widgets are still like, you know, they're just fillers. The fonts, none of this stuff is like set to be the way that it's actually gonna be in game yet. Um, a lot of this is just me building the mechanics guy. So, you know, and just putting the foundation in, you know. Um, I just get a lot of comments about, um, and not just me, this is other sites too, that people just don't, sometimes don't understand that you're doing a prototype. I, I don't know if the word is obsolete these days or what, but uh, prototyping means that you're putting the foundation or the basis for the game down, not necessarily the actual content of the game. So, you know, it's not going to be the actual, you know, way everything's going to look or be. It's going to, it's going to definitely change. So anyway, we got this, uh, I'm just going to click here to browse to the flight achievement. Okay. And we're just going to go here and we are just going to duplicate it. And I'm just going to call this backpack instead, or I could even put B pack just to keep it short. B pack achievement. And we don't need one. We just need achievement. Okay, and so now we'll just go in here and open this up. And we can just change this. So I can put um where's my text at? That should be boop, 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 boop. Background blur. So literally what we want is right here. That says it's the circular throbber. There's text in here, guys. I know you see it. I see it too. So we got this, which is you just earn your wings. We're going to say you found a wing pack okay and then I'll probably have something else coming up explaining kind of what the wing pack is um we definitely gonna want to move this over now and get it uh, centered for this uh, piece so more than likely we could just go here and move these things over if you see here we got the positions on the board here so I'm just gonna move it over so it's more centered as a matter of fact let me get out here so I can see and we're just gonna shrink this down so we got some space to work in because we don't need all that but I do want to kind of see the screen this line here should be the center point of the screen so you just want to kind of try to line that up as good as you can um like i said i'm in prototype and this is part, i don't even know what fonts i'm going to actually use and things like that just yet so you know it is what it is um right now let's see here period number of pieces so this is the speed So that's pretty cool. That sets the speed. Okay, this sets the number of pieces. So we can bring this down. Like that, since this is a smaller achievement, we could even have it uh, come out of the blue somewhere. I believe that we do have a setup for it here, so. Okay, so it, it's already animated. It's all right. I'm gonna, like I said, all this stuff will change. Anyway, the main point is we just want the widget. So that way we know we have it there to decorate later on. So we're gonna go ahead and get out of that. I'm a perfectionist, y'all. I'll be in here trying to work on it. And it, like I said, even this map that I'm working on, guys, is just a test map. And I put all this work into it. And this is not gonna be a map in 
the project more than likely and even if it is it may be in the project but i'm not even sure if i'm going to use this level in the project so you know it'll be vastly changed if i do use it in the project so anyway here we go i'm gonna go ahead now and we're gonna go back here to our character and now that we have the widget we need to be in this character here we can go ahead and we can go here and look for b pack achievement everything else can stay exactly the same except for the spawn drone here we literally have the backpack which we need to add so what we'll do is we'll set can fly which that's what this is but we need to really put has backpack now you got to be careful when you start uh, doing things like this because what I wanted to do is I want to eventually be able to fly now it already works with as soon as I can fly this pack will show up but I want the pack to show up and then later be able to fly so that's why I want to change this so um, what has to be true I'm gonna have to make two I'm gonna have to make an adjustment to both of these so what I'm gonna do is put um, has we're gonna create a new variable so let me go over here boom I don't know what the heck I just did that was weird all right anyway <laughs> I don't know what happened right there so we're gonna put um, has wing pack and you guys will see I use the question mark a lot with these because that's what they pretty much are you know, questions um, so what I'm gonna do is put has wing pack here get has wing pack okay so we're gonna I want to make the instance editable and be exposed because I'm working on a project so I want that to be something that's that's out there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put has wing pack we actually want to set it so let's go set has wing pack and we're gonna get rid of this one here okay so now we want to set has wing pack to be true okay um to fly we're going to do this so the level has to be greater than three and we could put an and on this so we could put and not or and so now what we can do is put this here this here this here all right so now I'm just going to move this back a little bit just down a little bit I'm trying to keep it a little bit neat up in here so basically you have to have both of these happen before you can fly okay so if you're that and when I'm gonna have to test it I'm gonna have to go to level three without um, and I don't really well actually I don't have to do that um, and this will go by level I, it's really set up to where I mean just be honest I could just set this up to be has wing pack and then um, have this just do what it does on this next level but I really want to have that has wing pack in there because in the story I may change some things I may have someone take your wing pack away or I may have parts of the story where you're you lose an ability or you can't fly in this environment and so this will be really nice because it'll be nice and easy to turn change this variable to not true and then the character won't be able to do any flying so see how that works it's like a just a double check but this extra check here is what we can actually use to manipulate later on if we want to change the ability to fly without having to do a lot of extra work okay so I'm gonna knock out two birds with one stone it'll get rid of this and this so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here to um, this back up here to the backpack achievement and we're going to change this to level two 
And I'm going to go get rid of a lot of the characters off the level as well so that we're not um, getting overrun with characters before we can... Um, or, or jump in levels so fast that we don't get to see the achievements happen correctly because I got some characters on there that instantly pop you to level 3 right now, so I'll be changing that. Um, but it looks like all of this is, is fine. Now what we got to do is create the timer. So in my event graph here, I'm going to go ahead and compile and save this. And then I'm going to go ahead and get into the event timer here. So we've got some timer events here. And we're just going to create another one here. Looks like I had something connected there that I got rid of. So we're just going to stretch this out a little bit more. And we're going to set a timer here. And it's just set timer by function. Um, so I'll just do another one. Um, so you guys see it here. So set timer by function name okay and we want this to loop and this doesn't have to be like super super fast um this can be like it could check at every point two seconds is fine we want this looping a looping check okay now we want to go back here and copy the name just to make sure we got it exactly right and we're going to go back into the event graph over here and we're going to go ahead and paste that name here so now it's going to be running a loop to check this event it's basically going to run this function whatever it is if you have somebody that's swinging a weapon or whatever you want to have them doing um i mean i wouldn't i don't know if i would use it for that but it's possible to use it for that yeah i guess you could um you could set the timer and swing, 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 swing. You know, however you want to set it up. So <laughs> that's pretty much what we got to do here. Um, and that's all you got to do. You don't have to set anything else, any objects or anything. You could just set it just like this. All right. And then now it's going to be constantly running this to see if we are level two or above. Okay, now this is the thing that I haven't done that I am going to do on these now. I do have them only set to do once. So at that point, I really should just pause the timer so I don't have these timers just running in the background with nothing to do. So what you can do at the end here is you could do a pause. P-A-U-S-E timer by function name. So now you could put that timer here okay and now we can put that same i think we still got it yep so we could pause this timer now actually i put unpause we want to put pause p-a-u-s-e i think i just picked the wrong one All right. so we want to get this one up here yeah we don't want to unpause it we want to pause it so let's paste but it does show you both nodes there and there's an unpause so say you have a part where uh a part of the the your the, the project or the game let's stop calling it the project when it's finished it's the game uh so say you have your game and and in the game you have the character um lose the backpack or someone takes it or it gets broken or something happens to it you can unpause this timer again and have it checking for this again but you can have another set of, you have to have another set of checks obviously set up because it's going to be doing this level three uh check again if you set it in this same row so but the thing i want to do is pause all of these timers so i'm going to literally just copy this two more times and if you fresh to the game i'm just uh control w in you're fresh to the game um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing for these other two I'm just gonna go highlight this and go here control C and then we just gonna paste them over these because since I absolutely cloned them it's got the exact same one so we're just gonna control V and that should be the flight achievement okay and we could compile save that and then we got to do one last one here and this will be for the drone achievement so we could go ahead and grab this control c come down here control v enter 
Booyah. So now you got it, got that all taken care of. So now what should happen is um, it should check here to has wing pack. Now I already has set up a backpack check or something like that. So I need to go back and look for that because that's how I had the backpack being spawned. Um, so we're not gonna actually spawn the backpack. This time we're just gonna make it visible. So I had an event already set up somewhere for the backpack's visibility. Um, I had like a check for backpack. So check, or I could just put backpack. B-A-C-K-P. So backpack achievement, and then we have wing pack. Pack. Okay, so right now it's just set up that if you can't fly, it's turning it on. So where did I put that at? So it may be in the actual character because sometimes I do that and that is where it is. It's on this actual character. It says has wing pack. And then we have a whole setup here. So this is nice, but um, we don't want this timer here. I actually want this to all be in that achievement area. So all we did was turn this on We have to have has wing pack. We need to set that to be true. And this is, I'm working in the child actor and the parent actor. I could do all this in the parent actor, but I sincerely don't want to have too many of these, all these things firing off in the parent actor. Um, so that's the reason why I'm doing them in the specific child actors. It's just the way I prefer to do it. Um, you could definitely put pack all this into the main character here and then have everybody work through it But that's just not how I want to do it. So um, Basically what I'm gonna do here is we got this already set up so What I can do is just get rid of this and then we should have the other um, Has wing pack which we're getting from the parent actor so now we can bring that over here instead so the character can do this boom and then you see I already have the this be paused once this happens so all it's doing is setting this wing pack to be uh, visible in game once this is achieved okay so literally I could move all of this into the main character and it should work fine but the main character does not have a uh, the wing pack, which I'm going to change this to wing pack here. And I need to really put the, keep that uh, steady throughout the project because I may have just regular, not wing pack, <laughs> wing pack. Okay, here we go. That's not good. All right. Um, so we got the wing pack here. And I'm gonna go ahead. I'm just man. Come on. I'm, I'm telling y'all, dude. I'll be paying attention to the the weirdest stuff, but I just like to type things a certain way. So all right, there we go. So we got the wing pack, um, and then has wing pack, wing pack, wing pack. All right. So we want to make sure. Now somewhere we have backpack, and I believe it's in the base character. So let's go here, and I want to change that. B A C K backpack achievement I want to change this to wing pack achievement so we're gonna have to do it in both places because I definitely wanted to say wing pack instead of backpack so let's go here let's go wing pack achievement okay and then we got to go to our timer here and make sure this says wing W I N G pack achievement and then I remember I made a this here as well so let's go and I just want to put this I'm just gonna go ahead and name it wing pack I just want to keep it all consistent which is something that I suggest you make sure you do because if you're building a whole game all this stuff can get very confusing 
all right so now I'm just gonna go back and double check my work here and make sure that everything, boom, we got the wing pack. That should be fine. That's just gonna display here, has wing pack. We got all our variables, has wing pack, has wing pack here. Um, all right, guys. And so now we're gonna go ahead, we're back in the print here. I'm gonna go ahead and just review things. And what I ended up having to do as well is, if you look here, since I copied these, um, there's a spawn drone because that is actually part of this achievement whereas these don't have uh, spawnable uh, items um, this one actually does to spawn the uh, wing pack I could do it that way but I don't want to I'm just gonna have it be something that appears or is visible or not visible in the game it's not big enough or in a place to where it's gonna be in the way by being visible and it doesn't have any collision on it anyway so I'm just gonna have it that way and um, so we got all these. So basically, I got it set. I set it up a little different so that I can get this popping a little bit faster. So level three, we're gonna get the wing pack. We're gonna get the flight achievement at level four, and then the drone won't come until level six. But I'm really only interested right now in the first two. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and actually build this, and then we'll play it from actually in. Uh, in the game and uh i'll be right back man bye bye now try this need ammo energy there you see the wing pack there it is level three wing pack there it goes so level four we should get the ability to fly which should be coming real soon because that was a big boost up so we shouldn't have to do much more to get to the next level all right guys so we got the backpack let's go ahead and now go to the next level here And I'm actually thinking about changing the uh, propulsion to the jetpack, but I'm not sure yet. I think I may leave it where it is uh, because of the story of the game. Uh, we'll just see. There you guys have it. And then we get down. Wings away. Fly. Wings come out. So there we go. That's it guys man I appreciate it appreciate y'all stopping by man thanks for your interest and thanks to the subscribers and uh, people that uh, support me and what I do man hit the like I'm out